Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas and let's begin with problem number 3 from level 2. And it goes like this. A line AB 90mm long is inclined at 45 degrees to the HP and its top view makes an angle of 60 degrees to the VP. Okay. The end A is in the HP and 12mm in front of the VP. Draw its front view and find its inclination with the vertical plane. Okay, we need to do everything in this question. Final front view, final top view and uh, 5 we need to calculate okay the inclination that the true length makes with the vertical plane okay that's 5 now we have this true length in the form of 90 millimeters this line is uh, making 45 degree angle with the what you call horizontal plane so that's why i have written down theta as 45 degrees and it's top view so the angle that the top view makes with the vertical plane is represented by beta right so top view is not the true length okay had had this been true length i would have written over here phi since this is the final top view of the line um it makes a certain angle that is 60 degrees with the vertical plane the end is in the hp that's why h a is zero, equal to zero and the end a is 12 mm in front of vp that is d a is going to be 12 millimeters so let's get down to business and now guys you can clearly see this uh, since h is zero so a dash is going to be over here in that xy line and this is going to be simply a all right and now let us give it uh, the dimension so this is 12 millimeters all right next thing to do is to use this data 90 millimeters and this 45 degrees at an angle of 45 degrees so let's do this quickly so this is going to be a 90 mm long line which is going to be inclined at an angle of 45 degrees that's the true length okay so i'll write over here simply 90 all right i'm gonna reduce this font size uh, let us say that this is uh, five that's enough okay now this point over here can uh, be written down as b1 dash now let's draw this locus line of b in front view and let me produce this in the backward direction so this is where i'm, I'm gonna have a point b dash and we're still a long way away from that okay now the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to draw this locus line for the top view of point a and uh, let's see uh, for more data uh, so beta has been given to us as 60 millimeters so up till until now up till now we have used these two datas and we have used uh, these two datas now we're going to use this data beta is equal to 60 degrees and it should be something like this uh, please watch this carefully and it should be somewhere here uh, at any random length but at an angle of 60 degrees okay you need to draw a line okay i don't know how much long this line is but you need to draw a line of any suitable length and then at an angle of 60 degrees i don't know where point b is but we're gonna work it out all right now we know very well if this is b1 dash then this has got to be simply um, b1 b1 and with a as center and with a b1 as radius i'm gonna turn this in the clockwise sense and it should look something like this please watch this okay that's it that's exactly what i was talking about and this over here is the final um, top view uh, you should call this point as point B and when you move along this way absolutely vertical and it should intersect this locus of point B in front view somewhere here so this is going to be your point B dash B dash and when you join A dash and B dash you have in front of you the final front view let me darken this and this final front view and final top view mm, it should look something like this all right and let me chop this portion off with the, about this arc all right so here we have it the final front view this is the true length this is the final top view but we don't have the angle that the true length makes with the vertical plane and in order to do so i'll do this small construction over here draw a horizontal line now true length is 90 millimeters long so with this guy uh, that is a as center and we're gonna put an arc over here a 90 millimeter arc and it should intersect this horizontal line somewhere here so i'll write over here join this with this and this is what you call point let us say this is point b2 
simply B2. Now, as far as angles are concerned, uh, this particular angle was already given to us. I'm going to show you once again, this was given to us as, I guess it was 45 degrees. Okay, so this is theta that the true length of the line makes with um, what you call horizontal plane. And this over here is what you call alpha and it works out as 63 degrees. This is the true length that the line makes with the vertical plane. So this works out as 38 degrees and this over here is the angle that the top view of the line makes with the vertical plane. So this is beta and it's equivalent to 60 degrees. All right. So guys, that was this was all from my side and let's meet again with a new problem. Okay. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. Thank you.